Yo, what up? It's your boy Eclipse from Team Ruthless with episode 2 of the ECAST here to update you guys on some weekly gaming news. Um, I don't think we have too much crazy stuff, just a few things to cover. Um, some stuff y'all might care about, some stuff y'all might not care about. Um, for first and foremost, Monster Sanctuary just announced a console release. Um, it's a pretty cool looking game. I've never played it. I, um... I looked at it back when it was announced on Steam. It looks like a side-scrolling like Pokemon type game. It looks pretty cool. Um, console release I think is dope and I think it will do well on consoles. And I think people should try it out. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a like a, a Pokemon slash 2D old school like platformer game. Uh, but with turn-based combat. But you fight with like groups of monsters instead. Um, it looks pretty cool. People should definitely check it out. Of course, all the links to gameplay and the announcements will be in the description, so uh, feel free to scroll down and, and check it out. Um, Humankind Free on Stadia is launching in 2021. I have no clue what that is. I'm pretty sure it's a Stadia exclusive, so it should I don't know if that's the first of their exclusive games or just another one they add into the stack, but uh, remember, I'm pretty sure Stadia is free, so if you guys want to try it, uh, go ahead and download it, download Stadia, and it will be out in 2021. Again, I have no clue what that is. Um, I think it's an MMO. I had, I did no research, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, definitely check that out if you care about the Stadia at all. Um, oh, you know what? I wanted to ask you guys something. So I, I think I want to start doing this, and I think I'm gonna open most of my videos. I, I know we already started, but I'm gonna start asking you guys a question at the beginning and. Feel free to answer the question again, you don't have to, um, but I always enjoy your comments. Um, so actually, I'm gonna steal a question that Boo asked me on the last ECAST episode. Um, is there a character that y'all do not want to see in Smash that you would hate if they included it? Um, I thought that was a pretty cool question. Um, and I promise I won't steal any more questions from you, Boo, but <laughs> I thought that was a cool question. So again, um, yeah, answer that for me if y'all want in the comments. Um, also, AOC, um, if y'all don't know who AOC is, she is a, um, I don't know what she is, I don't know her title, but she is a, um, Democratic politician, um, if you haven't heard her name by now, you either not following politics, and you don't give a fuck, but she's been, she's a young politician who has a pretty good name for herself, uh, for the most part, as a, as far as I'm aware. Um, her real name is Alexandria Ocasio. I don't know how to say that. Ocasio Cortez, aka AOC. Um, she's a New York representative. Okay, I remember her now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure she was the person everybody was tripping on about the Amazon thing. I think a year or two ago. I don't remember. Anyway, it's not too important. It's not about gaming, but she was streaming Among Us and. I think she broke a lot of records in terms of Twitch numbers. Um, I'm not sure if there's something she really does, or I'm not even sure if there was a new Twitch channel she made, but she really got on there and just encouraged people to vote. Um, and it seems to be, everybody encouraged people to vote seems to be working. Um, looks like a lot of people are voting. Uh, they're breaking records, especially young people, it seems. So uh, shout out to ALC for that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, pretty cool to see people realizing the market video games is uh for better or worse i guess <laughs> um zoids wild blast unleashed drop for the switch now i was interested in this game at first because it looked like they were saying it's gonna look play like the gundam games the gundam versus series and to me it doesn't really look like that um uh, a lot of people, I, I think the reviews are kind of bad on it. I really don't read reviews like that, but um, when I Googled it, I just saw a, a few headlines. Um, I think somebody was saying it's better for kids. Is Zoids even popular nowadays? Like, Zoids was popular when I was a kid, and Aaron, it was cool, but I wouldn't say it was as big as things like Pokemon, Digimon, uh, Gundam, Dragon Ball Z, um, things like that. So... Shit, I would even say uh, Metabots and was eh, it might it might have been equal to Zoids, but yeah, I don't think I don't know if Zoids is big at all, so I don't know if kids would even mess with it. 
Um, interesting concept. I'm pretty sure it's a Switch exclusive. Um, the gameplay just doesn't look that great to me. I really wish it did. Um, Division got an update coming out. I don't know what it's adding. I didn't do any research. <laughs> I'm not even sure if people play it. I don't play it anymore. So I didn't do too much research. But yeah, if you haven't played Division and you like the game, there's a new update. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's adding some cool content um, that people seem to be excited for. But again, I didn't really look too, too much into it. Uh, Transformers Battlegrounds dropped. And I do not remember hearing this being announced anywhere. Um, it looks like a, um, a strategy game, like a Final Fantasy Tactics version of Transformers is the best way I could uh, describe it. Ever looking at, or maybe XCOM or something like that. Um, it looked okay, but to be honest, if a Transformer game doesn't look like Fall of Cybertron or War for Cybertron, I'm not really interested in it. I could care less about a... Um, strategy version of battlegrounds granted it might be dope because i love the final fantasy tactics game so i don't know i wouldn't pay 60 dollars for it though <laughs> i'm gonna be honest um fire emblem shadow dragon and blade of light and i believe those games are the original with marth and shadow dragon and blade of light with roy correct me if i'm wrong those i believe have never been translated in the release and some people are hype thinking that they're gonna do the same thing with the mother series I don't know I think that's pretty cool to kind of see where fire emblem kind of originated from um, to see how badly those games change uh, change especially seeing that fire emblem is, is a pretty big series now considering it was a, a Japanese exclusive for a long time um, but I think that's dope um, I definitely will check out gameplay trailers for it but I probably won't pick it up um, maybe we'll see I don't know. It is dope that it's coming. Um, now, this is not necessarily gaming news, but Uncharted movie first look at Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. Um, I think he looks. I think he looks cool. Like it's. Um, I don't know if it's the the actor I wanted to play Drake, Nathan Drake. Um, but I think Tom Holland would do a good job. Um, I don't think it'll be a hard role to pull off, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, but I think it, it looks better than the, the Monster Hunter movie coming out. So, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. So this is probably the biggest news. I wouldn't say it's the biggest news, but it's probably the biggest thing to have a cool discussion on. I won't even say cool. I thought it was stupid, but a discussion on, uh, the creative director of Google Stadia, Alex Hutchison says streamers should be paying the devs and publishers on the games they stream. Now... His exact words, and, and this is, and I'll tell you the story where this kind of came from too. Streamers worried about getting their content pulled because they use music they didn't pay for should be more worried by the fact that they're streaming games they didn't pay for as well. Already fucked up. It's all, <laughs> it's all gone as soon as publishers decide to enforce it. Now, <laughs> to me, this was stupid and ignorant. Now, I understand, I kind of understand where he's coming from. But this is where some of the things he got wrong as well. As in, just in his statement alone, they didn't pay for it. Most people are buying, buying their games. Um, I don't, someone who, I'm not gonna say I used to pirate, but someone who knew people who used to pirate don't really do it anymore. It's too much of a hassle. Um, we were kids, or they were kids, and um, <laughs> like they'd rather just pay for the game. It's that much easier, uh, less risk on the computer. Most people are paying for the games. Also, as someone who is an inspiring content creator, um, the game Damon X Machina, if y'all haven't heard of it, there's loads of videos of it on my channel. There's, I have a tons of comments, DMs, whatever, of people actually telling me, yo, I bought this game because of your videos. As someone who cannot make money off of YouTube yet, <laughs> I have made more money for Marvelous, the developers who developed the game, than I have made for myself. And I only imagine that it's that much crazier when it's someone like Ninja, um, Shofu, all these guys, Afro Ninja plays those games. I'm, it's to, to me, that's like saying Nike should be paying, or Jordan should be paying Nike to wear his shoes during the game. 
they're gonna get way more money paying Jordan to wear a specific brand. I know he's not playing anymore, but you know what I'm saying. That we'll use LeBron. LeBron Nike is gonna get way more money paying LeBron to wear Nike specific gear, whether it be his shoes, a headband, whatever, than them trying to go after celebrity stars, people who have the power to to push and advertise and use it then they would go on for them like for money from them like what, what kind of logic is that now well i'll say i kind of understand i do believe publishers can kind of i think it's possible they could one day try and change that up maybe even get a cut of their streams but the odds of that are very low. Like as soon as people cut off advertising, like Damon X Machina, I'll use that again as an example. As soon as that game, people were um, getting copyright claims just for streaming the game, they didn't stream it. And I'd argue that did have an impact on its sales. Granted, I know the game did well considering, but I imagine it do. I imagine it do better if they allow people to stream it at first. Even Among Us. Among Us is like a two, three year old game and it just now started popping off. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> just because of um streamers. So I don't get, I think that's an ignorant statement and I think people, I think developers and publishers will be stupid to start trying to push for that. Um, I think they'd lose way more money than they'd gain. Uh, that's all I had to say. Uh, definitely I want you to know your opinions on that one. That one was kind of the craziest thing in most con, con I can't talk sometimes. Um, it was just crazy in my opinion. I don't even know how to, controversial is what I was trying to say. I can't talk. But yeah, definitely the most controversial statement I've heard all week. <laughs> or yeah, all week. Anyways, so back to more gaming news. Pokemon DLC Crown Thunder drop. Um, I see a lot of people enjoying it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy all those legendaries coming back to the Pokemon series. Um, especially cool to see people enjoying it just because the game was getting so much hate before it launched. Um, especially with the animations and all that. <laughs> all that uh, fiasco that was going on. So it's cool to see people enjoying it. Um, I think Pokemon, I don't think Nintendo can do no wrong with that series um, in terms of people buying it. Pokemon already has kind of lost its touch for me. Like I, I, I caved and bought the game, but Sword and or Sword and Shield. But I don't know. I'm kind of over it, man. I think I'm getting too old for those games. But it's cool to see people enjoy it, and I probably will get the DLC eventually. I'm just in no rush to get it. Um, Halo Infinite looks like they have some kind of a skin system. Um, not only just for you know Master Chief and his armor, but for weapons too. I thought that was interesting because Halo 5 has a pretty massive unlock, unlockable like skins, cosmetics, in terms of like helmets and stuff. Um, this one looks to be more in depth. They were saying something to have like seven different shaders for like your armor and stuff. So I'm kind of interested to see how that goes. Kind of weird that they are showing that off too because you know they're hinting to it being a multiplayer kind of feature. It looks like it's gonna be both, single player and multiplayer, but I'm wondering if there's gonna be a bigger multiplayer aspect in the campaign. Um, I wonder if they're hinting to that. Uh, that's my only opinion on that. I think Halo Infinite is gonna be cool. I, there hasn't been a bad Halo game in my opinion. Um, there's been some mediocre ones, but I think Halo Infinite was cool. I enjoyed five. Bring back split screen co-op though. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive pre-purchase fact released. Um, PS4 and PS5 crossplay plan. That should be the normal, of my opinion. I'm hoping more. Uh, I'm hoping all games, especially the ones that are letting you upgrade, allow that. Um, Cause you don't. I don't. Not everyone with a PS4 is automatically gonna upgrade. I myself am waiting, um, just because I feel like I can play most games on my PC that are coming out for a while. And so I'm waiting on the PS5 until some better exclusives come out. Same thing with the Xbox. Um, but I hope, crossplay in, in my opinion just needs to be the norm now. Like we're, you guys are wasting time in my opinion. 
go ahead and freaking just drop crossplay with everything. I don't know how much money it takes or whatever, but it needs to be the norm in my opinion. Uh, no Ultimate Edition for Steam. I don't know if that's a make or break for you guys. And But yeah, PS4 version can be upgraded for free. And PS5 version, of course, is better resolution and load times. Um, fighting games usually don't have crazy load times, so I'm sure it's not too bad. But um, Rebox has dropped in the uh, Assassin's Creed shoe. <laughs> it looks pretty dope, I'm not going to lie. Out of all the gaming shoes, this is a pretty cool looking uh, shoe, uh, especially for Reebok. I'm not a big fan of Reeboks, um, not like I used to be, but they do look pretty cool. They call it the, I think they're a version of the Connecticut, I can't say it, Connecticut shoes. They're already a thing, I've seen them before, but the Assassin's Creed Valhalla joints, they look kinda cool. Um, I'll try to put a picture in the um, video when I uh, edit this, um, but I think they look pretty cool. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, um, what's that, Cold War I think it's called, uh, exclusive two-player co-op zombie mode, I know Xbox fans, I know PC fans are probably going to be tight about that, especially if they're waiting for Call of Duty, um, Call of Duty, PlayStation is just doing what Xbox was doing back in MW2, MW3, like, they got the money, and they're pushing for any exclusives they can get, I hate when it's modes, I really do. I don't plan on getting this Call of Duty, but I do hate when it's a mode. Um, if they're going to do exclusive content, make it cosmetics or I don't know, man. I just hate when it's modes. Uh, I don't even care if it's maps. I'd rather miss out on a map than a whole mode. It kind of disappoints me. Um, and I'm not even a Zombies fan or anything. So, uh, Drawn to Life Realms leak for the Switch. Um, the, that game, I remember be, having some... Um, being pretty popular, I think it came out on the 3DS and the Wii, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but it got leaked. I'm pretty sure legit, because I'm pretty sure they had artwork for it. Um, probably not again for me, but I could see it picking up steam and being a pretty big hit. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like kind of like the Animal Crossing joint, where, you know, it's kind of a, probably not as big as that, but it becomes bigger than you would think it would be. Um, Travis Scott teams up with PlayStation as their new creative partner. I have no clue what that means. I don't know if they're, he's just going to be in like, I don't know what that means. He's most of his music are probably just going to show up in Sony ads and whatnot. Maybe he shows up in the Spider-Man game. I don't know what that means. Um, I think that's cool though. It's always cool to see hip hop and gaming kind of like combine. And because people, for some reason, think it's a separate, more separate than what it is. But hip hop has been ref referencing video games since forever. And um, hopefully one day video games kind of reflect that as well and kind of starts merging it more. I feel like we don't get enough games that kind of pay enough tribute to hip hop, I guess. Especially considering how much hip hop plays tribute to video games. Um, that being said, too, I feel like I said this on Twitter the other day. I feel like anime does a better guy, a better guy, better job um, with representation for black people than video games do. I was just thinking the other day of like, if there was a black character in Smash Bros, like. If they're like, what black character <laughs> that could be a dope character in Smash Bros? And I could not think of one. Like, maybe Jade from Beyond Good and Evil. And even then, I was like, but what would be. There's no, like, known black person in video games, right? Like, am I tripping? Am I forgetting somebody? There's no, like, main black main character that's has, like, the legendary status of belonging in Smash, right? Am I tripping? Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. They need to be more black characters, that's all I'm saying. Um, the Xbox UI dropped, I think the Sony one dropped too, they showed like a video of it. I don't really care for either. I feel like I haven't liked any gaming UI since the PSP and PlayStation 3. Like I feel like most of them are doing too much. I like the simple 
playing, maybe customize the background and joint. But other than that, like I feel like they're doing too much. <laughs> Xbox, I haven't liked Xbox for a while now. Xbox is the worst. And I feel like Sony started trying copying Xboxes. And I feel like that's such a bad look. Um Facebook is starting a new streaming a new streaming service for mobile video games, free to play mobile video games. Now I'm not sure if these are gonna be exclusive. Or these are games already out. I'm pretty sure it launched today. Um, if you, someone checks it out, let me know how it is. I already don't care too much for mobile games. Um, the biggest mobile games I play is Pokemon Go, Genshin Impact. And I, I play those so casually, I can't even... I can't even say I play them like that. Like I, <laughs> But yeah, I, I think that's what mobile games for. But it seems like they're kind of entering the more hard crowd scene especially with Genshin Impact people are loving that game mm -mm. um there was also a pretty cool article Phil Spencer dropped it was like an interview with him um pretty much talking about what he feels like Xbox lacks and what they're gonna try to do to make Xbox a better gaming platform um, in terms of exclusive monetization and game development, hopefully we see some improvement. I feel like Xbox has a, like, I feel like Xbox was fucking up for the longest and they were the worst of the worst, right? And then after Sony started winning, they got humbled and now they're kind of like going back into the right path, like where they should have been. Cause y'all remember Xbox was like, yo, you not be able to borrow used games and all this stuff. That kind of, I feel like they hit Xbox pretty hard. And now they're kind of like rebuilding from that and trying to catch up to Sony and doing, I feel like they make the best choices right now. Um, I don't know if maybe I, that's just how I feel. I mean, I still don't feel like Xbox is in a place where it's better than Sony, but I do feel like they are making it. I think people are starting to sleep on them now, especially with the Xbox Game Pass and stuff. You can get it. I feel like the Xbox Ultimate Pass is what the stadium was trying to be, and I definitely feel like people are sleeping on it a little bit, even me though, because it's not like I have it either. And one more thing is Destruction All Stars delayed till February, but it's going from 70 bucks to a free PlayStation Plus game. So free. If you pay for PlayStation Plus, which most people do who have uh, PlayStations, um, you'll be able to play the game for free now, even though it's delayed a couple months. It was supposed to make it in time for the PlayStation 5 release, but it was getting delayed till February. Um, I have no clue what this game is, and I was trying to look for gameplay not too long ago, and it seems kind of funky. But it looks pretty. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's interesting. It kind of looks like they're trying to go for like a twisted metal thing, but I guess people can run around on foot. Um. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Regardless, it's free. It's it sounds like a wild game. And it's gonna be free to play. So that's all I have to say for this video. Um, how long is it? This one's twenty three. <sighs> These are supposed to be short, and I'm trying to speed through them. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I'm out. Fight night again is on Fridays. Um, Damon X Machina this time. Last week I was playing Gundam. Um, if y'all want to know how I did in the tournament, I, we won two out of six matches. So 2-4 was our record. We didn't do too great. But me and my partner didn't practice the whole week. So we did okay. But I feel like for the most part, I could have done better. I feel like I did pretty bad. Um also tried to use a Gundam that I just picked up the day prior so I don't know that was a bad look I should have stuck to my red frame um, and um, Saturday I'm gonna make a more official announcement but Saturday is gonna be the scream stream um, I think we're gonna go ahead and just play Among Us and that's gonna be open to everybody and then I might move on to fast Fovia if people want to play that and that'll be open to everybody too but I know less people will have it because Among Us is a free game and yeah so we'll see how it goes um, but definitely check that out again I'll make an official announcement um, 
add me on Twitter, subscribe to the tube, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, join the Discord. But that's all I got to say. We out. Deuces. <laughs>